Spring is here. The real estate spring market, anyways. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. Hello, I'm Yetta Decker. And I'm Ken Decker. And we're excited to welcome you back to another episode of Life's Inside Track, where we share techniques, thoughts, and tools that we all need, we all deserve. You, I, everyone to turn our house into home where our families thrive and we live the best life possible. So yet of the real estate market, the spring market, Mm -hmm. when does it really start? Well, it started. It's already started. I know you're thinking there's snow on the ground. It's two feet deep. (laughs) We're in the deep freeze. What do you mean spring has sprung? Well, the February, February, is when the real estate spring market happens. Usually like two months before the real spring market. And so when you're thinking, and I mean, what you're gonna learn on this episode is how to time it, how to time the spring market and what it really is versus what you might perceive it to be. For years, people have called me in Hmm. May and April and said, I'm ready to list my home because it's the spring market. And they'll still sell. They'll still sell. They will absolutely sell, except if you can jump on the spring market before the height of the real estate market, here's the secret. Oh, I'm not allowed to whisper on radio, but here's the secret. I'll yell it instead. (laughs) So here's the secret. It's not a secret if you yell it on radio. Right. Well, here's the insider tip because we do offer you insider tips. So here's the insider tip. Maybe it's not a secret. That is 60 days before the height of the real estate activity, the homes that are on the market will already be sold before the frenzy begins. Hmm. And you might be thinking, why is that a good thing? Well, that's true. And what we found is that many times Hmm. we put in, in the 31 years, right, of real estate sales, that the properties we put on in January and February, by the time March, April comes around, they're Mm -hmm. all sold. And those people have their 60, 90-day closings, Mm -hmm. maybe 120 days, Mm -hmm. and they're actually moving while it's warm. Right. And the beautiful thing is for those that have their market, their house on the market, what you might perceive is early. Because I've been told before, Yetta, you don't see the snow? It's like, I see the snow. I see the deep freeze. I see the freezing rain. I even drive in this stuff. And yet, if you've got it on, the great news is, although there may be fewer buyers to look at those homes, there's actually a lot less inventory. So because there's a lot less available, you're actually positioned to take I don't want to say take advantage, but get the benefits from the spring market. Hmm. That's absolutely true. And history has shown it, except for, oh my goodness, what happened with COVID? In COVID, Mm. you know, our market was hot. February, first two weeks of March in 2020, houses were flying off the shelves. Oh, and that's the other thing. I totally forgot about this. If you want us to bring your home to market, we've got to get a photographer in, help you set it up, get the marketing started, wait for the uh, virtual tour to be processed. So it can take up to mm-hmm. a week to actually week, week and a half to get your home what? to market. That's after you make it clean. Hopefully you make it sparkly and clean because the last thing you want is that heat of February, March where the sun is getting pretty sharp and the outside is bright and you can see the dust on your windows, you can see the dirt on your floors. Yeah, don't want that. So before we get to do our part of the job or our magic, you get to do your magic and make (laughs) it really sparkly clean because it's amazing when the snow is white and the sun reflects off the snow and bounces in your windows, you see things you didn't know was there and you don't want the buyer to see any of that. That's true. It is. That's true. And also there's sometimes that 
what's that grunge that gets on your windows in the winter time that you know because especially if you left your screens on yeah okay so we're gonna put moisture. a little caveat there because just the <laughs> other day i was talking to somebody who was saying i love yetta i love all those posts that you've been putting on your facebook page because we did back in last october we did maintenance month for outside getting ready for winter now we're not doing that then we moved into interior and then we move into how do you get ready for the spring inside for outside so we every month we kind of do a bit of a theme and she said to me you know yada when you were sharing that back in the fall i didn't know why i had this gnarly nasty black stuff on my windows why did i have it where was it coming from and then you shared that like ken just said the screens have to come off we don't have to but if you have inside screens that are pressing against your frame of your window what happens in the winter in particular when you're not opening your windows too often unless you're one of those people that love to leave the freeze and you sleep in the cold cold most people though keep their windows closed all winter long mm -hmm. short of maybe a warm sunny day and so when you cook when you shower when you breathe we're emitting moisture and it goes through the screen gets trapped on the other side, sticks to the glass as water droplets, rolls down and sits in the ledge of your window frame. And that black icky stuff that she was talking about, well, that'd be mold, nothing but mold. And that's nasty to breathe in. So every October, when you're not going to have your windows open much anymore, when the bugs are gone, Pull your screens off, find a spot in your house to store them, leave them there until you want to open your windows again in, well, in Ottawa, I don't know how late is that, <laughs> April? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe even May. Yeah. So that was a great segue and, and distraction, but we're going to get back to last year, the spring market yeah. never really happened. Not in, in what, spring. In what people think is the spring, the mm. May, the April. Those months, real estate was like 60% down, 50% in down. In terms of volume, except those that sold even in that market sold for really good prices. Yeah, it was a weird market because we mm. had such a pent-up demand of buyers mm. that they were still willing to go out and, yeah. and do whatever it took to get a house. Right. And so... The neat thing is the rest of the year made up for that 50 and 60% that we were down in, in yeah. April and May. The rest of the year, we recovered that, and the year actually ended up better than it did than 2019. Yeah. Just crazy. Well, it is, but when you have, and when you have less properties on the market, there is less competition, which often means a faster sale, which is kind of cool. <laughs> right? Despite popular belief. Yes. And you know what? Some of my clients, this, uh, you know, I'm just going to throw this in here. <laughs> Some of them go, let's sell it when there's snow because my lawn's not very good. It got burnt last year. My lawn did. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It got we, burnt. Don't, we don't want to talk about that. Talk about no that. distractions about burnt lawns. As soon lawns. as the snow is gone this, this spring, I've got to do some landscaping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. So despite the forecast... Live Like It's Spring came from Lily Pulitzer. Yeah. We're grateful to be your partners as we're moving forward together. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.